If we take a look at our anatomical model of that knee joint, we have so many things that help support that knee joint that basically help restrain it from moving outside of its anatomical range of motion. We have surrounding muscle groups like the quadriceps anteriorly, laterally the IT band, the biceps femoris, posteriorly we have the calf muscle group, as well as medially the continuation of those hamstring muscles of the semimembranosus and semitendinosus. If we start to remove the muscle groups, then we get down to some of the ligaments that help really support the knee joint. We have two ligaments on either side of the knee. We have the LCL or the lateral collateral ligament. As well, we do have our MCL, which is our medial collateral ligament seen here. Both of these help restrain varus and valgus forces at that knee joint. We also have our ACL seen right here, starting posteriorly with the femur and then uh, inserting at the tibia more anteriorly, preventing that anterior translation of the tibia. And then behind, we do have the larger, thicker PCL uh, starting at that femur and then going more posteriorly towards the tibia.